Hi there. While I'm waiting for the belts for the HP 85 to repair that printer, I want to make a short video about this HP calculator. It's an HP 67. Um, and uh, well, as most calculators from that time, this one was equipped with uh, nickel cadmium uh, batteries, rechargeable batteries. That makes sense because the LED screen used a lot of power and uh, you had to recharge them frequently or simply let it run from the power supply. But of course nickel cadmium batteries they die at least after 30-40 years and I converted this one to uh, lithium ion batteries rechargeable through a USB charger and uh, I just want to tell you how I did that. Here on the back side you find the battery compartment. It has these two little clips here. Then I placed some foam material here. So this is a piece of a filter mat. And that's my battery. So originally you have for plus and minus you have these two connect connectors here. And you can see it's, uh, it has space for three nickel cadmium cells. That makes a total of 3.6 volts. Uh, when they are fully charged they may have up to probably 4 volts. And if you hear 3.6 volts, 4 volts, that screams for one lithium cell here. So I have one lithium cell, a flat rectangular one. Then with double-sided tape I mounted this uh, protection and charge circuit. It has a micro USB here, can be charged by that, like so. It even has an LED that turns, I don't know, blue or green, depends on the model, uh, when it is fully charged. So now it is charging. And uh, on the other side there is a piece of PCB where I cut this uh, insulation uh, area here with a cutter knife to two cuts and then peel off the, the PCB. We have minus here, plus here. That goes to minus here, plus here, like so. Of course, without the cable. Let me check, minus, minus. We could, of course, mount it uh, the wrong way. Therefore, I wrote this up with an arrow here, place the foam inside, close the cover, and it's working. And even the low battery indicator, with, which is the uh, a red LED down here, uh, seems to work. Uh, it comes on pretty early, so no worries. By the way, the protection circuit um, protects the battery from under uh, discharge, so it will simply go off. So if you turn it on and it goes off again, you need to charge the battery anyway, but I think the indicator will indicate that you have to do that. Yeah. There's only one segment missing here, but that's not the fault of the battery. Okay, that's it. How you uh, convert an old calculator to lithium-ion batteries.